Hello guys and hello there YouTube. This is Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video guys, we'll be talking or we'll be giving you the price analysis for the top 10 cryptocurrencies for the day. But before we go to the article, I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Gear program here. Now guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so guys, it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Now, signing up to Initiative Q is completely free and they only ask for your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your Qs can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now here is your special limited invite link there in the description below. Now guys, the link shown will stop working once we are out of free invites. And we only have a few slots left remaining. So guys, don't get left behind on this one and click on, click on the link now there. And then uh, proceeding, let's go to the article here. On the price analysis for Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, and Tron. There. Now, the digital currencies were relatively stable from early September of mid-November, after which the decline started. Since then, incessant selling dragged the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies from above $210 billion on November 14 to just below $116 billion on November 25, a fall of close to 45%. After uh, such a waterfall decline, an equally sharp pullback is probable. However, the market will not switch over from a strong bear face to a bull face instantly. Mike Novogratz, ex-Goldman Sachs partner and founder of Galaxy Digital, believes that the cryptocurrencies will stage a turnaround next year. While the fall was hurt or has hurt traders' accounts, it does not stop the adoption of cryptocurrencies. In an apparent first, Businesses in the U.S. state of Ohio will be able to pay their taxes in Bitcoin. This facility may possibly be extended to the individual taxpayers in the future, according to the Wall Street Journal or WSJ. Now, let's start um, with the price analysis for Bitcoin to USD. Now, Bitcoin dropped to a low of $3,620.26 on November 26 from where the bulls attempted a pullback that hit a roadblock just above the $4,200 level. Currently, the bears are attempting to resume the downtrend. The zone between $3,000 to $3,500 is an important support and we expect it to hold. The fall in the last few days was plunged or has plunged the RSI into deeply oversold levels. Though in a bear phase, the RSI frequently stays close to the oversold zone, a reading of 11 on the RSI indicates capitulation. Usually, such a sharp decline is followed by an equally sharp throwback rally. The Bitcoin to USD pair will face minor resistance at the downtrend line, but we expect it to be crossed. The upside targets are a pullback to 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level of $4,712.89 and a 50% retracement level of $5,050.40. 
the 20-day EMA is also just above this level and might act as a stiff resistance. It is difficult to trade the rebound, hence only experienced traders willing to take a risk should attempt to go long if the virtual currency sustains $4,250 for about 4 hours. The stop loss can be kept just below $3,500 as this is a risky trade. Use only 30% of the usual allocation. On the downside, if the digital currency breaks below $3,620.26, a, a fall to $3,000 is likely. Next we have here is Ripple TUSD. Now, Ripple broke below the support of $0.37185 on November 25, but buying at lower levels helped it recover most of the intraday losses. The bears are currently attempting a sell-off once again. If successful, the Ripple to USD pair can decline to the support line of the channel, which will act as a strong support. However, if the level fails to hold, a retest of $0.24508 is possible. On the other hand, if the bulls push prices above $0.37185, a pullback will begin that can extend to $0.43, where we anticipate a strong resistance from the 20-day EMA. We do not find any buy steps, hence we are not suggesting a trade in it. Next here is Ethereum GUSD. The buyers seem to have deserted Ethereum because there is not even a reasonable attempt to pull back after such a decline. On November 25th, the bears easily broke below the support of $110. The Ethereum GUSD pair found some support at $102.96, but the pullback has been weak. A break of the $102.96 level can drag their digital currency to $83. On the upside, the recovery will face roadblocks at $130 and $140. Now, if these two level levels are crossed, a pullback to $158 is possible. However, we do not find any reliable buy steps or buy setups. Hence, it is best to stay on the sidelines. Next, we have here is Bitcoin Cash to USD. As, as the hash war in Bitcoin Cash is over, we have reintroduced it in our analysis. Due to the fork, we will have to look it at a, at a ref or a fresh. Within a short span of 20 days, the decline has been massive. The bulls are attempting to provide support close to $148.27. If they succeed, a pullback to 38.2% Fibonacci retracement and 50% retracement of the recent fall is probable. Now, if the bulls fail, the Bitcoin Cash to USD pair might extend its downtrend. Though it is in uncharted territory, the next major support is at $100. Traders can wait for a bullish pattern to form before initiating any long positions. Next, uh, we have here is this one Stellar to USD. Stellar broke below the critical support of $0.184 and $0.1547188, which is a bearish sign. It are it found some buying at $0.1342705 but the bulls are struggling to sustain the pullback. A breakdown of the November 25th lows will resume the downtrend and push the stellar to USD pair to the next support at $0.08. Any recovery will face a stiff resistance at the $0.184 level. We do not find any reliable buy setups, hence are not proposing a trade in it. Um, and next, we're down to EOS to USD. 
Though the RSI is in oversold territory, the bulls could not initiate a recovery in EOS as it continues to trade below the $3.8723 level. The immediate support is, is at $3. If the EOS to USD pair bounces off its support, it will face a minor resistance at the downtrend line above which $3.8723 will act as a major resistance. If the bears plummet prices below $3, the next support is at $2.40. Traders, traders should wait for a trend reversal before attempting to buy it. Then we have Litecoin to USD. Litecoin is in a firm bear grip. It broke its support at $32 and fell to a low of $28 on November 25th. There has been no re reasonable pullback since the decline started on November 14th, which shows a lack of buying interest by the bulls. Below $28, the next support is at $20, but considering the oversold readings on the RSI, we anticipate a pullback within the next few days. On the upside, the recovery will face a stiff hurdle at the 20-day EMA. We expect the Litecoin to USD pair to move or to form a range before starting a new uptrend. Until then, we suggest traders remain on the downs or sidelines. Then we have here ADA to USD. Lack of buying pushed Cardano to $0.033065 on November 25th. If these supports break, the slides can extend to the next support at $0.025954. The RSI is in deep oversold levels that can result in a pullback that will face resistance in the zone of $0.50 and the 20-day EMA. We shall wait for a confirmed bottom to form and the chart pattern to signal a reversal before suggesting a trade on the Cardano to USD. Next uh, we have here is Monero to USD. Monero broke below the support of $60 and slipped to $54.081 on November 25th. If this level is broken, there is a phys physiological support at $50, below which the slide can reach the $40 level. Now, if the bulls hold a support of $54.801 and begin a recovery, the Monero to USD pair can rise to $71 and above that to $81. We expect a strong resistance at $81. Due to the oversold readings on the RSI, we anticipate a recovery within the next few days. However, there are no buy setups yet, hence we are not recommending a trade in it. Then we have Tron to USD. Tron broke down of the support at $0.0122194 and dipped to an intraday low of $0.0108996.5 on November 25th. The bulls have managed to hold prices close to the November 20 lows, but they have not been able to push prices higher. The RSI is deeply oversold, which shows that the selling has been overdone. A recovery from the current levels can carry the Tron's USD pair to the overhead resistance of $0.0158768 where it or where we can expect sellers to step in. Contrary to our opinion, if the bears continue to pound the digital currency, a fall to $0.0084479 is possible. Traders should wait for a new buy setup to form before buying. Alright guys, so that was the price analysis for the top 10 cryptocurrencies for the day. Now, uh, what can you say? Share with us your opinions on our comment section below. 
and also guys um you can also get the latest news and updates directly sent to your email simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here now once you're in our website you can go or you can just simply scroll down and click on the link paypal where um, you can pay 15 us dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at coinbase for only 180 dollars per year with your favorite crypto handled by coinbase and after you do that you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on youtube all right so that's it guys now all of the information provided in this video is presented as news and education only and not to be considered advice we um as we hear we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own final research in order for you to make decisions for yourself now this channel and the website uh, preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates this is once again mia your daily news broadcaster signing off and i'll see you on my next video bye guys